Have you ever noticed how someone in your group is always the first to know about the latest phone, a new app, the latest music, a new restaurant car wash, or even trading hairstyles? That is what people call a trendsetter. The kind of person who's always ahead of others in knowing what's going on. Hello and thank you. My name is Catherine Gaho and I'm in the business of research and training. I've supported many organizations with research and insights for new product introduction. In any group in society, there are always people who are eager and ready to try new things, setting the trends. They are called the innovators. And then there are those who wait the longest before joining in. They're called the laggards. In this video, I'm going to talk about the categories that all of us fit in with regard to the rate at which we adopt new products, practices, or innovations that serve to improve our lives. We all adopt new products or practices faster or slower or earlier or later than others. That is when compared to the majority who will eventually adopt a specific product or behavior. Stay with me as we go through this and try and see in which category you fit in and also where your friends and relatives fit in. Think of one product that you use regularly as we go through this and you will be able to find the group that you would belong to. In recent times, we've all seen those who moved quickly to adopt online meetings, wearing of masks and to implement social distance. For others, it took a little long and for others, it took enforcement for them to adopt. In every type of product, service or practice, there are those who are early to adopt and those who are late. Can you think of a product or service that was around you for a long time and your family members or friends were using it, but you just didn't see why? You ignored it over time, assuming it will not offer much benefit to you. And then one day, when you eventually decided to get it, you were so amazed at how useful it was to you. I know someone who completely rejected WhatsApp until the other day and only after feeling locked out of conversations with family and friends. And now she has become a witness to the benefit of using WhatsApp. Now let's go to the different adopter categories that we all belong to. I will use information based on research by Everett Rogers who discovered in 1962, like over 50 years ago, that within the population of all those who will adopt a new product or innovation, there are five distinct categories. The first category is innovators. The five adopter categories are one, innovators. These are 2.5%. They are then followed by early adopters who make like 13.5%. Then the early majority, 34%, followed by the late majority who are 34% and the laggards who are 16%. This chart shows the adopter categories, but also the sequence that they follow in terms of the speed or time of adoption of a new product. Let us discuss the types of people who fit in each of these groups and we see where we belong. Those who adopt new products or practices earliest are described as innovators. Those who fit in the category of innovators tend to be adventurous types who are trendsetters. They are sometimes seen as daring because they are willing to take a risk with untested product or innovations. They make a small group of people who are the first to try new ideas and do this with great eagerness. They tend to be open-minded and are willing to make their own decisions without reference to others. They don't wait to see what others think at all about this new product. These are the people who introduce new ideas to society by their willingness to take them up early. This is particularly because they are information spreaders who are willing to share information widely. They show and tell many others in their social circles such as family, friends, colleagues, followers, and fans on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and the like. Would you say you belong to this group of venturesome innovators who are eager to try new products and then to show and tell? If not, you could belong to the next group, that is the early adopters. This category represents a slightly larger group than the first one of innovators. Early adopters tend to be opinion leaders who are respected in their communities. They brand well in the social circles and are seen as role models. As such, others tend to look up to them. Because of the influence they have on others and the respect that they are accorded by their communities, they tend to be a little cautious in adopting new products. They are not daring 
as a first group, they seek first to assure themselves of the performance of the new innovation that they are adopting. They have a reputation to protect. When they endorse a new product or idea, a larger population will be willing to take it up. Would you say you belong to this group of the early adopters? If not, don't worry. Let's move on and see. Maybe you belong to the next, the early majority. This represents the first largest group of over 30% of the population of those who would adopt a particular product. They tend to be quite deliberate and conscious of their decisions. They take time to learn, to gather information, to look at other users, to learn about their experiences with the product before they commit to adopt it. They do not seek to influence others, but enjoy the comfort in numbers. Would you say you belong to this group of the early majority? If not, let's move on and see if you belong to the next group, that is the late majority. This represents the second largest proportion of those who will adopt a particular product. They accept an innovation after it's been adopted by nearly half of the population of all those who will eventually adopt it. They are quite slow and tend to adopt only after it gains widespread acceptance. They are risk averse types who fear taking up a product before it's tried, tested and proven by others. They are somehow influenced by those in a majority group because of their large numbers. This seems to provide social proof that they require before they can feel confident to take a decision. Those in the late majority group are cautious and may accept an innovation only when they consider it almost a necessity. They may also be responsive to influence from their social circles when social proof of benefits is quite clear. Would you say you belong to this group of the late majority? If not, let's review the last group and see if you fit there. Those in the last group to adopt innovations are called laggards. The laggards this represents a group of people who are hesitant to adopt new products, who are resistant to change. By the way, by the time the laggards are thinking of a product, it's no longer new. That's one fact. Laggards are traditional and conservative types who are suspicious of new ideas and new things. They are difficult to reach with information because they have limited access to media. They also are suspicious about media. They wait until a product or idea becomes totally mainstream in society before they accept it. That means everyone is using it, rather you see it with everyone. They are generally limited in exposure and tend to operate in their local neighborhoods most of the time. They mostly think and speak in terms of the past more than the future. Do you know that kind of person who is always talking about the glorious past when there were no smartphones, no social media, and so many apps, when the music was so slow and the dance styles moderate? That mindset, that's the mindset of a laggard. I hope you have found the group that you belong to, at least with regard to one product that you adopted and use regularly. Now, this information is commonly used by marketers to ensure that the new products and innovations that they launch will be accepted in the market and become successful. Success in this context means that an innovation becomes mainstream in society, like the mobile phone or M-Pesa or that restaurant or pub in your neighborhood where all the locals go. Think of how mobile phones became mainstream in society. So quickly, in the earliest years, there were those who resisted the innovation, wondering what it will mean if people can call them and find them wherever they are. In the kitchen, the microwave took a little longer to be accepted as a mainstream product. How about social media? Just think about it. Pick any one of the, whether it's Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Just check that and see. What do you think about it? How quickly has it taken to be adopted? Online meeting apps have become common during these days of social distance. Zoom has become a household name. There are so many of those meeting platforms. The other day, I attended a meeting on a platform called Blue Jeans. I've also had to train on another platform called the Big Blue Button. We have to be open and keep adopting new products and innovations in order to move our lives forward. If you resist, sometimes it means you are left behind with regard to certain opportunities. The role of the business owner or marketer in all this is to understand the consumers in each of these categories and to develop marketing strategies and communications that will appeal to the different groups at each stage of the innovation's journey. To sum up, the innovation adopter categories are one, innovators, two, early adopters, three, early majority, four, late majority, and five, the laggards. Thank you for watching. 
If you are new here, remember to subscribe and press notifications so that you can be notified of other relevant videos. I will appreciate your comments on the channel to let me know what you think about this video and other topics of interest to you. I appreciate all your comments. Those of you who have been sending me comments on WhatsApp and email, which I truly appreciate, kindly put some comments on the channel so that others can also see them. Thank you and best wishes. We all need to elevate our mindsets at this time. <music>